Introduction It is December month. Anu is excited. Christmas is celebrated on 25th of December and Santa Claus would bring her gifts. Today is 10th of December. Anu is counting the number of days left of Christmas using a calendar. Do you know how to use a calendar? Come along to learn how we count days. Objectives At the end of this lesson you'll be able to List some facts about calendar Play some calendar tricks Solve problems on calendar Explain uses of calendars What is calendar? Look at this calendar You see days written in some fashion A calendar groups days into week Weeks into month and months into year. Each day is different. Calendar facts. There are 12 months in a year. Months are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. When all the days are counted in a year, it sums up to be 365 days. Each month is divided into weeks. One week has seven days from Monday to Sunday. Each month has 30 or 31 days. Only February has 28 days. Do you know that in a leap year, there is one extra day that is added in the month of February. Therefore, a leap year has 366 days. Sequencing the events. Anu is at school. She has listed some important dates in jumbled manner. Let us help her in arranging the days in the order they come in the year. It's New Year, then Republic Day, then comes Independence Day, followed by Mahatma Gandhi's birthday, and lastly Children's Day, which is birth date of our first Prime Minister, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Solving Problems on Calendar do you know that calendar solves many problems? You can easily read the days and dates on a calendar. Let us look at the month of July for the year 2012. Can you tell on which day does this month end? Yes, it's Tuesday. What day is it on 13th July? It is Friday. What is the date on the second Saturday? It is 14th July. Is the 21st a Sunday? No, it is not a Sunday. It is a Saturday. How many Thursdays are there in this month? Yes, there are four Thursdays in this month. Calendar tricks. Now it's time to play some calendar tricks. You can add five numbers in the box at an instance. Think. The total is 80. Hey, but how did you get it? Just multiply the middle number by 5. Remember that this magic works for lines which have 5 numbers. Fun with calendar. Hey, let's do some more fun with calendars. Suppose your friend chooses 4 numbers in a month, say 15, 16, 24 and 25 and gives you the sum. Then how will you identify those four numbers when you only know the sum? Think. It's easy. The trick is to first divide the sum by four and then subtract five. You will get the first number by fifteen. For other three numbers, add one, nine and ten to the first number. You can also try with other numbers too. Uses of calendar. Can you tell any uses of calendars? Calendars are used to identify days, to record an event, to manage personal schedules, to identify season changes. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Calendar groups days into weeks, weeks into month, and months into year. There are 365 days in a year 
which are distributed among 12 months. Leap year has 366 days. Calendars are helpful in sequencing the events. Calendars are useful in identifying days and seasonal changes, recording events, and managing personal schedules.